If I could turn back time one year ago, what would I do differently as a UI designer? Do you ever feel that you're wasting your valuable time by doing the same thing over and over again? And in this video, you will learn how to create a base design system. So we are gonna get the five systems that we recently created and put them into one system. Hey YouTube, I'm Roy, a UI designer based in the UK. Find me in the Figma community. You can search for me. My name is Roy Quill Law. And in there, we have our various systems. So the very first system to go for is the textiles. So what I've also created is a, a new file and I've called it base design system. So if I duplicate this one and go to type scale, I'm going to copy these, so Command C, I'm going to go into Base Design System, I'm going to create a new page, and this is going to be uh, type, this is a good start, type, typography. And then I'm just going to paste that in, and I'm going to hit Enter, and Enter again, and then Command forward slash, Styler, and we want to generate styles. So it's created 40 styles, and here we can see straight away we have our various textiles. So now we're going to go to the color system. We are going to hit duplicate, go to the example. We're going to select tool, Command C, and go back to the base design system, new page, color paste that in and we're going to hit enter enter and enter again what that does it basically goes down in the nested layers and then I'm going to do command forward slash generate styles create 66 so you can see here we got our various colors and these if we remember from the, the video we created all of these colors from one color. So we have a complementary, we have an analogous, we also have the free states of error. And then we go into spacing, we hit duplicate. We go to spacing, and this is all from Tailwind. So we're just gonna copy this whole resource, Command C, go back to base design system, we got spacing and then command V. So we have all our values. We have rems, which is pretty important for the web. And then we have our spacer visual blocks just to show. And this is using the eight point grid system. Next thing is icons. And if we hit duplicate on that, this is using the heroicons icon set. So I'll just go to icons. You can choose feather icons if you want. And I'm gonna just select this whole thing, Command C, go back to design system, hit icons. Paste that. And one thing I wanted to grab as well is the social icons. Well, let's, let's put this on one page. So go back, we go to social, we're just gonna Command C, and we go back to base design system. Command V. So now we have our very own social icon set as well. And the last but not least is our most recent video, which is a shadow system. So if we hit duplicate on that, we go to shadows. I'm hitting the minus key just to zoom out, select tool. Command C, base design system. We just change this to shadow, shadows, and command V. And then we want to select both, put this into one auto layout. We can call that shadows. Hit enter, enter, and then command forward slash generate styles. So now what, what it's done here it is created our different styles of shadows but we want to also delete these color styles it's also generated so delete those
If you're finding value in this video, please hit the like button. Okay, so what we want to do now is just make some small tweaks. And if we go to color, one thing that we're missing from here is the gray scale. So what we have to do is find the wonderful Tailwind CSS, so Space Tailwind CSS. Make sure you got the Tailwind Labs. Click on there. We are then going to hit Duplicate. We're going to go to Color, and we're going to get the default palette and Command C for the gray scale. We're going to go here. We're going to Command V, and we are just going to go in. And we're going to break out of those components, so Command, Alt, and B. And we are then going to change these to 100 by 100, just to match what I've got. We enter again, and we're just going to get rid of the border radius. If we go back to scale, we can make this horizontal, and we can have a gap of 20, just to match up what we've done. And I'm also going to delete that. I'll go back to gray, enter, 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 command R, rename it to gray, forward slash, number, U. That is strange. Command R, you say gray, forward slash. It puts that at the beginning. Ah, this is at the end, okay. Fair enough. Strange, isn't it? Come on, R. You name it to gray slash number. Ooh, it's always adding it at the beginning now. That's strange. Okay, so gray dollar NN. So here I'm going to put get rid of one end and zero, zero. And then rename. And then the very last thing is just to check that it's in the right order, because it might be in the wrong order. And it is the wrong order, as you can see, this is gray 100. So we want it to be the other way around. So again, we go to scale, hit enter, enter, command R, we name it to gray, and forward slash, we want it to go from up. That is really weird, it's doing it that way now. Small N, okay, so cut that, paste, and then we get rid of one, zero, zero, rename. Okay, so this is now working, gray a thousand. Okay, so we have our very simple gray scales and then what we have to do is hit enter, 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 command forward slash, generate styles. Then if we go and see, we can see all the grays are here. Now what we're gonna do very quickly is just adjust some of these color styles so I'm just going to select this and we actually want this to use our new gray so we're going to the darkest gray and for some reason they are in a different order interesting go back to color it should be yeah not sure why the order is a bit different go to gray not sure why the thousand is there so I'm just going to move these and we got 200 over there for some reason. So that's in order now. We go back to typography and we go to selection colors. I want to use the darkest gray. We go to color, we go to spacing. So same thing here. We are just gonna select all. We are gonna go to selection colors and we're gonna do it all in one go. So this is a very quick way of doing it. Dark gray, this one, is a very light green so let's say this one and then ooh, that's actually let's choose this one and we got a very light red so we will choose this one and then the purple is the ring around so it's not exactly the same but hey this is what we're adjusting we go to icons we're just going to select the whole thing we are going to change these colors because these are from Tailwind. As you can see, we're going to choose the darkest gray. We're going to choose gray 500 and gray 400. See all of them. And then the purple is the ring around. The white, we want to use 
our white, which reminds me we do not have a white color. So we're going to hit F key, and there we go. I'm just going to call this white with uppercase W and command forward slash generate styles. And now we have our white, which is right here. Okay, so if you go back to icons and see all five, we want to change the white to our white. Nice. Probably we're going to have to change this as well. So this will be our white. So you don't have to do this, but this is just what I like to do. Hit command R. Get the social icons. And okay, so we've got all the dark here. I'm just going to go up to all the dark and make sure that we choose our darkest gray. Same thing here. We are just gonna find all the white versions, Figma light, and we are going to choose our white. Great. And this could also be our dark gray. So please do let me know in the comments, do you create a base design system?